Hey guys, what's going on? My name is The Gaming Warrior, and welcome to a game called Osu. Now, Osu is a, a beat a beat map song game that uh, requires accuracy and timing in order to play it. Now, disclaimer for YouTube and this, most of this stuff, uh, all the songs that I will be playing in this video will not is I do not own any of them. I do not own any of the content. I do not own any of the songs or the anime pictures that are in them. I simply use them to play them and entertain my get aim my viewers. Now let's begin with the game. Now of course this is not going to be an in-depth introduction. I will leave that in the description for how to download the game, how to download beat maps and skins and that stuff. I'll just do a manual introduction so what the first thing you're gonna see off the bat is of course my profile name under here and the mods right here there's mods random options I'll get to those later right now on the right is your beat maps now of course you don't know you won't have you only have about five when you start the game but you'll still have beat maps nonetheless now you can sort them by categories and groups I personally go by title, and then for groups, if I want to do a difficulty, I just do by difficulty, and it'll show me stars. So, now, in Osu, there is a ranking system and a difficulty system. Um, the difficulty system depends on the stars of the song. So, example, oh, um, let's say this song. It's a difficulty of four star, which means it will be incredibly fast. Needs pretty good timing and no misses on the thing. I'll get to the misses later. The one star is the lowest of all of them or below two stars if you see. But the one stars are extremely slow where you can, no offense, but no one, unless if they're not paying attention, they will not miss those. Like it's easily. Now for the beat maps, there will be music coming in the background. And for me, personally, I have a video in the background, as I'll show you in a moment. Now, the songs are, I mean, difficulty are also dependent on the stats up here. Now, the stats up here have a length, a BPM, objects, circles, and sliders, and spinners. I don't pay attention to these, but I do pay attention to the star difficulty right here. Now. The length tells you, of course, how mu how long the song is. Now, for most OSU players, their most comfortable um, in length of the song is usually around one to two minutes. But for tryhards and that stuff, or even some casual players who just want to do a very long song, it'll be definitely um, four to five minutes. I've even seen songs that go up to ten minutes. It's pretty insane but back to the stats the BPM means beats per minute I mean, not beats per minute uh, yeah beats per minute the beats per minute uh, tells you how fast your song will be going so let's say if I decide this is really too big I mean fast for me but let's say I wanted to do a um, song that's really really fast as you see each song has a different BPM the higher the BPM the faster it is the lower it is the slower it is. I mean, the slower timing it requires let's do a pretty fast one which is not in the three stars uh, this one this has a BPM of 230 so that means it will be pretty quickly quick but I'll get into the song in a sec. The objects are the, uh, when you go into the song, you will see circles in the middle of your screen. Those are beats. You, in order to achieve those beats and continue with the song, you need to press your designated uh, action keys, which is an on default X and Z. But personally for me, it's A and S. So when you see it, you have to time, there will be a approach circle at, in outside of the circle. You gotta wait until the approach circle is right about to go past 
and inside the beat. Once you hit that, you'll hit the beat. I'll show you in a minute. Now, circle and objects. Wait a minute, I explained that wrong. Objects is the entire um, stuff in the song. It tells you how much objects there is in the entire song. If I'm reading this right, yeah. So, the circles are your beats. That's what I was talking about earlier. Uh, sliders are a little bit different. So it's the same type of circle, but it's different. So when a, pro cir a circle like this appears, and there's a pro circle right here, it'll start to diminish. And when it gets to the center, you press S or A or X or Z. Now, you hold it because the slider is like a little line across the screen. This, and you have to hold it until the um, circle that is moving gets to the end. That's a slider. Now, there's also called a reverse slider, which after the, you go to the end, it'll go back to where it started. And I'll show you in a minute as well. Uh, the spinners is, by me, pretty hard, because it's different than the, what we were talking about earlier. Now, the spinners, what they, they appear in the center of your screen, like this one, but it's a little bit smaller, like about this size. Well, when it appears, it will tell you to um, spin your mouse around like this. Now, in order to achieve that, you also need to hold X or A or X or Z in order to achieve that circle. It'll give you, some skins will give you no, not a notification, a pop-up saying, hey, you completed the um, thing, you can stop now. But for most OSU players, you keep going until you see points go coming up. Uh, now, I didn't discuss this earlier, but for each beat that you hit successfully, it's 300 points. If you hit it a bit too early, it's 100, and for very early, it's 50. Now, of course, when you miss the beat or time it or click it too fast, there will be an X near it. And up on the top, there, top left, there will be a health bar. That determines how long you can stay in the song until it's game over or you complete the song. I think I should stop explaining and just show you. So I'll do a one star. Pretty uh, short. Uh, we'll do a song that is not really appro inappropriate or anything. So we'll do... Um, sorry, I'm looking for something. Well, this one, fairy tale theme. Now, up here, you and like I said, there is a health bar right here. It will rise up until the song starts. That tells you how long you're, and you will stay in the game for, in, in the song for. Now, I'll show you what happens when I don't click anything. See that approach circle? Don't click anything. The health bar goes down. And if you have too many misses like that right there, it will fail the song, and you have to restart or go back. Now, of course, if you, for most people on Osu, if you want to see what you did wrong, like for example, let's say I somehow clicked it too fast, like this. See, there's, it's not letting me, and it's decreasing the health bar. I, and for some reason, I don't know how it worked. I can go back up here and press F1 to view my replay. Now, on the right, their replays give you um, one times playback, two times playback, and 0.5 playback. <coughs> There's also discussions and collections, but I don't really pay attention to those. Now, you, and you can also enter a replay that will go you back to the main menu. Or not main menu, your song menu. You get, you get what I mean. So, let's um, show you how to actually play the song. So, we'll go back in. And again, here is a circle right here, and there's the pro circle. Now I am pressing A and S when those circles are hitting the center of that B. And of course, you hear the song keep going. Now I do want to help you out so much, and it's a really good pointer out. But the beats or the things that I was tapping, they go by the song's bass or beat, like you. Like you hear the drums or the beat of the music that's in the background, they are measured by this right here, if that makes any sense. 
So if you feel like you are um, missing them because you're they're out they're out of beat, they're not. Well, some song designers are, but right now you can hear that it's going to the. That wasn't a really good advice, but anyway. Of course, the, what was I gonna say? I mean, the thing is about beat maps is that it again requires a lot of, not a lot of skill. And of course you will be a pretty bad OC player at the beginning. But for me, I started out with two stars because this is way too slow for me to be honest. Way too slow. So, okay, here's a good example. Now, I just finished a song, and the ranking system now occurs. This section right here tells you what you did. Now, of course, you should have seen the score up here. And the score is, uh, let me see what, let me see if I can get back to, you know, my maths, I mean, my math years. Uh, that would be, if I'm reading this right, a, 167,040 points. Now, when you're playing through a song and you're hitting the beats correctly and you're not breaking and you're not missing them, you're making a combo. That p combo increases for how many beats you are succeeding in. Of course, when you miss, a, miss, the combo goes back to normal. See, max combo is 96. I don't have Japanese, so I don't know what that means. But I think they're saying that I got it two misses, zero 50s, which when you hit a 50 in high speed ones, it's very bad. Like, it'll decrease your bar by a lot. Now, your 100s is a little bit draining, but that's it. And I think this is a slider 100s, because, of course, if you tap a um, slider too fast, you will get 100 or 50. But there's the objects to where I, you know, didn't time it right, and this is my performance graph. Now, this is a very, very good graph right here. here I mean, my total accuracy is 94.34. That is excellent. That's why when I got to the end, it gave me an A. So there's four, four? No, I think there's six, but I believe five or six rating and rating grades. There's D, which is and it basically means that you have missed a lot, and I mean like maybe 15 out of 20, in, no, about maybe 36 out of 96. It's too and so huge that if you miss a lot and you somehow survive that with like your bar like that close and almost losing, you'll get a D. And I'll explain what these do. But C is like it's average and not average it's like almost average and you still and most that's what you get um when you're doing high speed beat maps or um in, you know um just in particular bad aim but b is b below this and the I mean, again when you do your accuracy and your misses it'll come up here See right here, I did it perfectly flawless at first, and then all of a sudden it went down, and then went down even further, and then there's a little st stud right here that says I messed up right there as well. Now, well, when I get an A, that means you have had at least two, I mean two misses. Three misses or higher would mean a B. Four to five would be a C, and any more would still be a C, but over 20 would be definitely 30. I mean, would definitely be a D. Now, oh, of course, I got two, I and mean, I got an A for my accuracy and my max combo because I did a pretty good job. But again, I don't do really one stars because they're so slow for me. So I gotta get back in. Now, oh, at the end, you'll see online ranking down here. If you have an account, which I will show you, not I won't show you in this video, but I will link a in a video in the description of how to make your own accounts. Uh, beat maps, imp skins, and that stuff. But this will show you your ranking. Now, I do want to tell you that once you get into Osu and you start playing these songs, you will be leveling up so fast. Like, I started this a year ago, and I'm already at 
rank number 315,386. Now that's pretty low. That, no, or that's, yeah, that's pretty low. That's pretty a good rank, but my friends are pretty lower, and I, again, I really don't, you should not pay attention to this level system right here, but you should be paying attention to PP and accuracy. Now, PP is performance points, and you get performance points by getting good beat map grades. It's not like school, don't worry, it's just telling you, hey, you did a really good job, here's an A, and you'll get, like, see, I got two PP because of it, and, and because of this map, and I got an A. Now, the over, uh, I'm not, I don't really know, but the, mo the most thing I look at is, of course, my performance points. And so, I got two PP from that thing alone. Now, the thing down here is that you can rate the beat map, but since it's a one star, I'll do a one star. Now, the thing is, I don't understand, is... Ah, that's probably a 10... Okay, that makes sense. Rating of 9.23. So it's not a... Wait a minute, what? Okay, I, I don't like that. But... Um, when we go back up here, you'll see two options. Or three, down here. Um, it's It'll have restart and watch replay. You can watch a replay and see what you did bad and try to improve next time or you can press with start and try it again or you can go back to the song menu and try a different beat map now when you get the grade you will have it up here right up here and it'll tell you exactly how much points you got what was your name what was your max combo and what was your grade and what was your accuracy now of course mine was higher than my average my average is 89.95 because i'm doing four stars Here's, but right now we're doing local ranking. What if you want really want to show, not show off, uh, see what other people do? I guarantee you pe that people have destroyed this level. So I can go to country ranking, and it'll show you this. Now, like I said before, there is about six: in a D, C, B, and A. And after that, there's S. Golden double S, which means that you have not failed any of the beat map circles or anything and had the max combo and score. Now, the thing is that I'm going to be coming in is it's going to be a little bit more complex. These are called mods. These mods, you don't buy, you don't have to download anything. These mods change your gameplay by a ton. Now, let's say I wanted to give myself a challenge in this song. I would put on double time which means it'll double it won't double this but it'll double how fast the bpm is like i said before and of course you'll have a score multiplier right here that will increase of how much is see right here it'll say difficulty increase special and difficulty reduction if you want to do difficulty increase be my guest but i never do them on high speed ones because they're so hard and they're really hard to do now It'll give you a deep description on the right, right there underneath my cursor. Like, it'll say miss a note and fail, which means sudden death. Which means if you miss a note, you will fail the song, you have to try again. Now you double click it, and it'll come with you an SS or quit. Now this one is, in, is if you want to be a perfectionist. This one, if you miss or even have uh, 100 in, it'll automatically reset the song for you. And you have to try it again. And I don't, again, I don't use these unless if I want to do a challenge. So right now, since I'm doing a one star, I want to do a zoom, I mean, uh, not zoom, I want to do double time and hard mode. Hard mode will change the position of the beats that we were doing. It'll change it up and mix it up. It will also quicken the response time that you need in order to hit that beat. So it would be like on par with the beat in the background. Now, flashlight will limit your field of view. So like if, say, uh, we were doing the beat maps and all of a sudden it will go across the map, there would be a flashlight hiding that. So I have to predict where they're coming from. And with double time, hard mode, and flashlight, it's incredibly hard. Now, most people do tryhards like this. And it's because they want to get to high rank. But... 
I'm not trying to call them out, but the thing is, you can have hard mode, double time, flashlight, and hidden. Now, I do want to mention that hidden is the hardest out of all of them. Hidden has no approach circles, so you will have to guess when to, to type and when to um, tap the beat, or in this case, is type it to where it will register as a good beat, and fa it will fade the notes for a slight score advantage, which means that once when they appear, they'll disappear and there will be no approach circle. So you will, like I said before, you will have to know your song's beat by heart in order to know how to deal with hidden. But that is the hardcore um, mods. Now, I did, forgot to mention this one. You can do double time or nightcore. Now, of course, most people know about nightcore, but nightcore is basically high pitch and double time uh, song and increased speed on the songs. Like, for example, let's say this would be a nightcore. I want to do nightcore, so let's go back here and it'll increase the pitch of the song. And it'll increase the time I have to click these right here. See, simple enough, right? Now, back to mods. Uh, so, that is the try hard section. And I don't recommend it for beginners, but if you want a challenge, go for it. Now, difficulty reduction is pretty good for, uh, you know, beginners. Um, there's, it reduces the overall difficulty, larger circles, more forgiving HP drains, and less accuracy required. This will decrease your multiplier by everything but to 0.5, which is not recommended. And but if you have just started the game and you want, and you think, or but say if you want to do a, let's go down to a, let's do a six star, and we keep that mod on. It will do an easy, and let's go with this. Now, like I said, these are six stars. But it decreases the star difficulty and everything by dramatically. And if you go into the song, it will have larger circles and also forgiving HP drain. Which again, the HP drain is to measure how much uh, HP you will lose for missing a beat. See? And of course, it will reset the song for you if you fail it. See? Oh, it will give you three chances. Okay, I didn't know that. My bad. Um, now, I don't use this a lot because, of course, the best option for people who want to get even higher up into the difficulties is... I don't know what zoom, zoom is. I don't know that one. I don't use that at all. But no fail. This is the best one out of all of them because it will keep it will keep the um, star difficulty at a minimum I mean, at the same thing. It will not change anything in here. So let's say I want to do uh, I spelled that wrong. But also I almost forgot to mention that if you want to uh, look up a certain beat map because I have like hundreds. And you want a certain song that you want to listen to, or uh, better yet, um, play? You can just type in the song of the the name of the song, and it'll come up with this. Now, let's get to the into the no fail thing. So, no fail is absolutely excellent because, see, it will not fail you at all, and you can still listen to the beat, and you can also try to. You know, train your mouse to where you can, um, you know, have ac a good enough accuracy. I, mean, I love that because if I want to like go higher up, because right now I'm at 5.679, uh, which is extremely high. And you can just use no fail and try to, you know, like imitate what they're trying to do and it'll get better with your aim and accuracy. 
Now, the thing I love about this game is that it helps you with aiming in or in, in first person shooters. Now, of course, you're wondering, how is that possible? Well, I will show you the reason. This song is triple play, and it's a technical map, but I'll explain that in a little bit. Of course, you probably can't even fathom or see the military now because they're so fast. It, some of the beat maps you do train your hand to go across the screen to where you can, you know, do this. That helps you with RP, I mean, not RPGs, first person shooters. Like for example, Overwatch has a character named Widow. You probably already know this, but she requires flick shots, which is, you know, going across the screen to make sure she hits that target from across the screen. This map helps you in the definite because these are called jumps right now. They're not aligned to each other, and the jumps means that you have to have a little bit more distance in between the notes. As you see here. And this is why it's called a technical map. It abuses the use of the uh, sliders. Now, I'm not saying that uh, all songs abuse it. It's just that this one, it gives it weird um, slider. Er, what's the word? I mean, slider appearances or shapes. Like right here, it quickens up the the time required in order to tap the uh, and use the slider. That's why it's called a technical map. And also you'll see here why as well. Now, I also want to tell you about a cert certain types of beep of beats. Uh, yeah, there's different types of beats besides circles, uh, sliders, and spinners. There is jumps like that. There's streams that have like multiple in a line that you have to follow. Now, he, see, this is why it's technical map. See, it has circle-like sliders that is very hard to get at the very first time you play it, or like, uh, it will get, get you by surprise. It, don't get me wrong. So, and I've already completed it before, but with a no fail, because it's very hard. But, again, there is certain types of be and beats, and like I said, it was the jump. I mean, jumps, um, what was the other one? Stream and cross map jumps. Cross maps is um, very, very hard to use. And then there's um, triple, I mean, something called triple beats. I believe that's what it's called. You'll see in a moment. See that, uh, those three beats together that's called a stack I believe sorry I'm just concentrating a little but wait a minute no I'm supposed to be teaching you how to do this we'll do let's play his next videos but yeah I'll stop it and show you Wait a minute, I can just show you my replays. I'm just, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I should have done this in the first place. Now, that is a stream right there. That was right there. And these are called jumps because they're so across to her. Those were stacks because there was three or four on them. Now, of course, four stars have these jumps, and they're extremely hard to use, especially because three stars doesn't use those jumps. They're much closer together, and they don't have, they have stacks, it's just that they don't have streams like that. Except, uh, seven point, and 3.7 7 stars. So, don't expect to immediately get into the game guns blazing and try to beat a four star, because you won't. You have to get, alright, a 
few more things that I want to point out, and then I'll do about four songs, and then I'll end the video there. Um, let's see. We did the song, the beat maps, how the game works, and what else? Ah, uh, yes, the settings. So, over here, you well, let me show you how to get into the settings. My bad. Oh, I forgot. Um, again, Brandon is self-explanatory. Chooses a song for you by option. This is a little important. I have only used one button here, and that's delete. This deletes any of the... Deletes the song that you think is bad. Like, say... Um, like, some of the songs in here are not at all... Um really good to play and they're very hard to use sometimes i get triggered and um delete them and then delete them back and uh download them back so that's self-explanatory but there's two different types there's like three different types do not by any means necessary use this one right here it might be a joker it might not but do not use it next is of course let and it wants to delete the beat map that I have right now in that I'm hovering above or you can delete all difficulties that have that name in it like if I go and take it out from difficulty and go by title it'll give me all these right here it'll delete every one single one of them all right now back to um options now in order to get to options you press you hold control and O that will give you the option menu. Now there's categories, which there's of course settings. Oh what? Yeah, general graphics, gameplay, audio, skin, input, editor, online, and maintenance. Maintenance, I think, just tells you. I don't know. Now I didn't want to do that stupid. Dang it. Uh well. But back to the options. Um, the graphics again, self-explanatory. Put you in, you know, make sure. Uh, sorry, I'm going too quick. Um, just to personalize your computer and the graphics you have. Like again, resolution, full screen. Full screen is recommended, but if you want to do Windows, I'm not gonna push you. Like hold on, if I do this, well, yeah, it's uh. Wait, what the heck? Yeah, this is Windows mode. Yeah, I was about to say. But, let me go back and put it back in the screen, full screen, because I recommend it. Because as you can see, there's MS, which, you know, is ping. Um, I recommend not playing Osu if it's over 20. If it's over 20 MS, uh, do not play it, because it will lag your response time on the beat beats and it'll register too late and it'll fail your song now there's frames of course and i'm going at a maximum of 240 so i have um the next perception is gameplay now most people when they get into the game they will have this thing called background din this decreases the section See how it's very dark right now? If I pause the song, which is escape, of course, uh, it'll give you uh, visual settings. But uh, you can disable the video if there's ever a video in there. You can ignore beat map skin, which I, and which it'll give you a default skin by hand. And do I don't recommend doing this. This like um, right here, it's it'll mute the effects. Like you will not hear if you hit. Okay, see how you're hearing the clicks or the... Yeah, this is a five star, but back to where I was going. See, you could hear it. Well, if you take that off, and of course I'll say please restart the thing in order to, and, uh, to take effect, um, it will, you won't hear that. And you won't confirm that, you know, it will... Um, and if you hit the beat or not, I recommend keeping that off. But the background dim lightens and darkens the screen. Now, the thing is, 
most who come on to osu will have this at maximum now if you want to be a daredevil i and go, knock yourself out but as you can see here i used to play at this setting but it distracted my eyes because of course i looked at this instead of the beats and i can't see the approach circles coming so i increased it to 45 and of course it's still there but it's a little bit darkened now personally i go at 93 if i'm correct in the same yes 93 still see it but just dimly just very 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 hard right. now uh if you use your scroll mouse you can and you know customize your music your any effect percentage and your master percentage of course i go to 100 percent music 75 master and effect and uh no i actually turned it down to 60 for effect because of this video but uh i think we're getting too um long in this video so i'll start to shorten up really quickly and do some summaries is so of course these are skins which uh you can get tutorials online to get but uh i have so much on there i have like maybe 20 to get the right skin i recommend getting a skin that ha doesn't have very special effects like uh is this the good one this one has so much special effects but it gives you a clear and clean see it gives you clean numbers and clean approach circles so you're good now sometimes they will come up with these and they're very hard see they'll give you these and it's uh it's a little annoying but if you want and all right and you want you could try it. now there's of course input you know sensitivity get makes you it makes you comfortable raw input cursor ripples cursor ripples i recommend so that way you know you're clicking on them uh it's registering as you clicking on it this is editor i don't know what it is but yeah it yeah this is the editor this is like if you want to make your own beat map which you can but i haven't used it online is of course your online preferences and your maintenance i don't know what maintenance is all right so i've explained this to uh pretty pretty good um i think i forgot one more thing there's modes of osu uh, there's Osu that we're playing right now. There's Osu Taiko, which you use your keyboard to type to the beats, which is like Mania and it's like a piano, but it's a little bit harder and you have to time it right. And Catch is basically using your arrow keys to catch the fruit that are coming down. Very simple, and very simple explanation. But oops, that was not what I wanted to do. But I'm gonna change the skin back to my Booit skin because I absolutely love it. I love it. I swear, I, I, mean, I don't know, but I'm not gonna put my opinion on it. So I'm gonna play about three beat map songs with two tries in each. Uh, I showed you one star and two stars in six stars. Uh, I'm gonna digress from three star to five star, and I'll show you how fast it gets. So let's go to difficulty. That's not the one I wanted. It was uh, title. And then for this, it was no. It was difficulty. There we go. So let's do a three star. Let's do a pretty high diff one. Uh, which one do I like? Now, I have to admit this. They have millions of songs to choose from. You have anime songs, game songs, just normal songs. It's so, it, the it, also community is so diverse. So it gives you, it'll give you songs that you recommend. I mean, like sometimes it gives me anime ones that I haven't even seen, but I try them out because why not? So let's do a song. Let's do Sword Online. Now, like I said, I'll show you why I turn it down to 90 when I'm doing videos. See in the background how it's, I can see it. Sometimes I'll look at it and I will get super distracted. 
So back to the three star difficulty. Not very fast. But probably to your eye, it's pretty fast. Your eyes will get used to it. Trust me. Now, I want to mention one other thing. That this Osu game can be played in multiple ways. There's a uh, Android or tablet that has Osu, but it has less uh, songs than Osu. There's a um, tablet that you use a pen to trace the your cursor. And you use your uh, keyboard to use the beats. There's mouse, there's like only ma mouse only, but I do not recommend it because your mouse will not click fast enough to time it. So for me, I recommend you guys try a uh, keyboard and mouse because I do want to warn you that the tablets that I had to that my, one of my friend gave me was over two hundred dollars in order to play, and I apps I didn't really like it, so I stopped using it. Now, oh, I'm doing no fail. Whoops. Now that's a three star, pretty, pretty quick I and mean, pretty decently fast. But let's go to a four star. Let's go to. Wait, it's date added I did. And I don't... No offense, guys, but I don't care if you want to try these songs... If you want me to try these songs out in stream. I will not. Those are my songs and my personal songs. And I can do them, but I will decrease the brightness down to a maximum because I don't... Wait, why am I saying that to you? I don't really have to do that. But let's do a four star. This one I've completed sometimes. Great, now it's leaked that I'm a Dragon Ball fan. Ah, well. I really would like to see what you guys think about this video because it's my very first official like I had the of course my setup try it out but it was pretty bad but I tested out now and I hope I did a pretty good job of course I still have uh, a pretty bad mic but I will change that pretty uh, soon if I have to because I just seen how bad it was and I promise you I will try to get a better mic See, there's a spinner right there, and I completed it without getting 100 or anything. Eh, see, not bad. What was my... <laughs> a B. Okay. I did it pretty bad. Is that a 4 star? Yeah. Alright, I will do one more, and then I'm gonna probably end the video there. Uh, Let's do a 5 star that I have completed before. Actually, let me show you how fast a BPM can get. Let's do this one. This one, you'll just try to keep track of my cursor. Sorry, I'm concentrating because this is so fast. And for anyone who does not understand Japanese, 
I got you because I don't have I don't understand it either. Where I fail. Come on, guys, root for me. I get oh I'm sad now I only got like 1500 placements sad face but I'll do one more I'll do one more now in the video there uh, I just want you guys to know that I will be doing different bit uh, games than this I'm not gonna be a osu player I'll be playing um I'll be playing Smite, Overwatch, Mortal Kombat, um, again, um, definitely not League because I do not like that game one bit. I could do some unpopular games like Jurassic World Evolution, to, I can do other games. I'll probably be doing polls in Facebook and now and then because I'm going to try doing, uh, recent and, you know, uh, good recording schedules and right now I will not I also have a twitch channel but it's down at the moment because uh, I don't have it set up properly yet if you guys want to see it even though it's not properly set up I absolutely I'm fine with that but right now it's down for maintenance um, if you guys want to talk to me and like hang out if there's any other people who are not my uh you know friends who actually want to talk to me i have a discord server uh i just started um it's not again like my uh twitch it's not professional but it's still my discord server and if you guys want to i'll link it in the description no i'll link it in the description anyway if you guys want to talk to me And the thing I will be doing in Twitch with these songs, in these Osu, is that you guys can t tell me a place or download songs that you guys want me to play, and I'll obli happily oblige. Now, I will be recording uh, one day each week, because right now I'm doing, I'm still in high school, and I have right now a part time job. So I won't be able to s record every, you know, in every two days for each thing and that stuff and get two videos up. I won't be able to do that. I will in be doing work and that stuff. And I think getting my stuff done is more important. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys had a really good um, tutorial. Uh, in-depth tutorial because the thing is I came into this game and uh, I had to ask my friend who is like way higher than me who's been playing Osu for about three days I mean three not three days three years from now and he has the in and outs of Osu now there is a multiplayer tutorial um, that I have not scratched yet because I do not know that at the moment but if you want to, we can, I and mean, I can do a very short tutorial on that. But right now, yeah, like I said, I'm going to end the video here. And if you guys really want to see me, um, in, you know, upload more videos on these kind of games and that stuff, I mean, leave a like. And, and if you guys want to see me do some more videos, subscribe and come 
check me out. I'm pretty, um, nah, I'm not going to self-promote myself. Um, well, yeah, that's just what I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to end the video. See you guys there, and I will see you in the next video and next time on the battlefield. See you guys, and I hope you have a good day.